Good morning. Thank you for joining us from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. It's a quiet day here in the Flight Control Room and on orbit today, following a busy weekend of the continued HTV activities. The HTV, which is a Japanese cargo craft that had launched a little over a week ago on Saturday, August 3rd, is now attached to the space station. That cargo craft was bolted to the space station on Friday morning and the hatches opened on Saturday. The crew worked with the rest of that day getting a good start on the unloading of more than three tons of cargo and supplies packed inside. Yesterday, robotic ground controllers here at the space station flight control room maneuvered the robotic arm to extract the exposed pallet of spare parts and experiments from the Japanese cargo craft and hand it off to the Japanese remote manipulator system, or robotic arm, for its ground commanded installation. Due to those HTV activities through the weekend, today is essentially an off-duty day for the U.S. crew members. The crew of NASA astronauts Karen Nyberg and Chris Cassidy, as well as European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano and Russian cosmonauts Alexander Masurkin, Fyodor Yurchikin, and Commander Pavel Vinogradov are now in the afternoon of their crew day. Nyberg, Cassidy, and Parmitano are just wrapping up a briefing with the robotics team here to discuss Friday's capture and berthing of the HTV-4. The afternoon will also include work for Chris Cassidy, who will conduct a power checkout of the MRM-2 station support computer. His counterpart, Karen Nyberg, will perform a crew medical officer proficiency training, and Luca Parmitano will participate in a ham radio connection as part of the World Scouting event in Quebec, Canada. Their Russian crewmates are having a full work day. Commander Vinogradov is working on battery replacements throughout the service module. Alexander Masurkin is performing a procedures review for this Friday spacewalk with Fyodor Yurchikin. The two also working on sizing of the spacesuits and performing a leak, leak check and valve test of the Orlon spacesuits. Yurchikin will also continue with Russian segment maintenance, including fan cleaning and air duct cleaning in the Russian segment. All of the crew members have exercise planned throughout the day. They will have an end-of-day planning conference at 2 p.m. Central Time, a chance to tag up with their ground control teams around the globe, and then scheduled for crew sleep at 4.30 p.m. Central Time.